I'm Shauna J. Cerniak, founder of Every Woman Empowered. And alongside are my co-hosts, Johnny Gallardo, international artist, and Every Woman Empowered's resident artist. And Neela Janu, certified laughter yoga instructor, founder of Let's Laugh Yake, and happiness ambassador for Every Woman Empowered. Welcome to Chick Chick Chat! And our special guest on today's show is Mahogany Jeter, who is a model. She's from Tennessee, and boy, does she have a story for us. Welcome, Mahogany. Thank you. Yay. Thank you for having me. Thank you Hello, for being on the chat. We are so excited to have you on board, and I know you have quite a story to tell us. Um, can you kind of share with our audience and viewers just a little bit about yourself, please? Okay, I am 23 years old. Like you said, I am from Tennessee, and I do have a medical condition called lipidemia, and it's pretty much like where my body retains fluids so it can affect any part of the limbs and make them pretty much abnormally larger than another wow. and it's where the system in my body doesn't flush out fluids properly so wow. that's why it retains them so. and so for you it's just mean it's is it mainly just in the one area in your leg oh no no it's not only in my leg my leg is the most noticeable because obviously of the difference is in is in my arm it's in my hand too it's even one side of my stomach it's my whole left side it's just people mainly focus on the leg part right wow and wow. since you've kind of shared this information on instagram and i believe uh, a few other social media places you <laughs> have become a model because of this uh, yes, uh, that was kind of crazy. So I took my first, I guess you could say modeling pictures in like 2017. I don't know. It was just, I was turning 20, I think. And I just didn't want to hide anymore. And I was working at Walmart and I don't know, the opportunity came when this guy was like, I want to take pictures of you. And at first I was like, what? <laughs> who want to take pictures of me so I just contemplated the idea got in contact with the photographer and yeah once you know I just put my pictures out there and from 2017 to now this is where I'm at I mean clearly he he approached you to take some photos because you are stunning I I'm just curious have you people ever reached out and said that they specifically find your like very attractive? I might have gotten that now, but it's weird. It's not in the positive or endearing way. When everything started to blow up, I got it as more of a fetish type vibes. Ooh. I'm like, I'm not really sure about that. <laughs> I didn't want to turn an medical condition into a fetish if that makes right. sense <laughs> right. mm -hmm. well and since you've you've you know shared your story so many others have come out uh and 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 embraced their own um you know issues as well and that is incredible i know like it your leg is is, is, is enormously large it's it's a large leg has that mm -hmm. caused a lot of um like what's the weight of it has it caused a lot of physical issues with you like your back i'm thinking like just okay um like it, it is really heavy because obviously it's so large but believe it or not since i've started going to physical therapy it's went down a lot like in those pictures, I was like 312 pounds. Yeah. And most recently, I think I went down to 226 pounds. Wow. And now, I don't know how much I weigh now, but I'm pretty sure it's even lower. Wow. So that's awesome. 
So a lot of it can, can be contributed to weight as well, right? So the more that you're losing weight and of course, physically probably feeling better and probably being a little yeah. bit energetic, that also helps towards it. Um, and you have been taking physiotherapy, so it has helped with any other body ailments I would imagine that you would be getting from, from that uh, to overcompensate, I would imagine, right? Yes, it has definitely made because in a physical therapy, they make it smaller. It's a bunch of different techniques that trains the fluid for me to like pee it out or pretty much gets it down small enough to where it's manageable. So yeah, I'm lighter now, more energetic. But yeah, it's heavy and I have been through a cellulitis is a skin condition where the fluid stays in one part of the body for so long, it like flares up. I have been through that, but now mm. everything is better. Good for I just didn't want it. I just didn't want it to be where I said, I don't feel any pain that I think that this condition is a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. I oh, just no. want to put it as in, I don't feel pain every single day. If that makes sense. Yes. You're being able yeah, to manage it in a way that is comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm. You said it was your mom that really was your support system through all of this. Have you already seen a bit of a ripple effect of how, <clears throat> excuse me, your confidence is positively impacting your little sisters? They are, my little sisters, they're really proud of me. I'm not gonna lie, even my mom is. And it just makes you feel even more good about what you're doing. Cause sometimes I'd be like, I hope I am doing this the right way. All I know is to be me and try to help people the best way I can. But yeah, I tell them every day, even before all this, I'd be like, you know, you're a beautiful little girl, right? And I told them so much and annoys them, they'd be like, yes, I know. <laughs> I'm so gorgeous. <laughs> positive reinforcement, positive mm -hmm. affirmations makes a difference, like I say. It does. Good that they have you as that role model. Yes. And now, where would you like to travel for a photo shoot? Man, I don't know anywhere honestly <laughs> but um I don't know I think recently where have I've been getting some attention from a place in Italy somewhere in Italy had reposted me and I would just think I'd be like wow that would be a pretty place to do a photo shoot yeah, well, what about Canada? Hello. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. I go anywhere. I, I've never been out of the U.S., so I want to get out. <laughs> well, we're closer than Italy. Just say it. <laughs> okay. I'll make that trip. Yeah. <laughs> Italy would be lovely. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Um, you've like you've gone through so many different challenges. I'm sure that um, all the negative comments have really just oh, I, I I can't imagine myself. So, what is your best comment back to them when they're really negative to you? Ah, okay. Honestly, um, stop confusing the old me with the new me. The old me might have cared what you thought. The new me, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's a yes. great answer. That's a great yeah, answer. Uh, yeah, trust me, I'm I'll, sure you've probably heard everything, right? Yeah, and sometimes it'll be some new ones that surprise me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't even get upset. I'd be like, really? Is this what people coming up with nowadays? Right. Got nothing better to do with their time. Yeah. So you have just such a beautiful, um, your positivity grows just like, it just emanates from you all the way around. So, because I've been following you and, and all, watching some of the great stuff that you're doing. And I want to know what is your greatest 
achievement that you want to be able to achieve within the next three years? Like, what's your biggest goal? Mm. I have a lot of dreams or goals. Of course, everyone knows I want to do the modeling, but I have also thought about also, if I can do like a clothing line, I've thought about doing that. And I have also thought about doing like an organization, maybe for people with lymphedema to pay for treatment or garments. So those are been like the other two on my brain. So yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Those are so achievable too, right? They are. Right. You know, I used are. to think it wasn't until now. And I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> this can really happen. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, so obviously you like designing and that sort of stuff. Who's your favorite designer that would be your go-to if you got to go to the mat ball? Ooh, I have seen a lot. As far as designers, I think I've seen this one beautiful dress and I'm probably going to say the name wrong, but I think it starts with a B of, is it Ballaman? I think. Mm. I don't know. But I know he I know it's a clothing brand and I believe that's the designer's name. Ballaman. It's like B look it up. A L A M I N, I believe. Ballaman. Yeah. Ballaman. Yeah. I'd have to look that one up. I don't think I, I recognize that designer. And and that is nowhere in mind that you like. Yeah. Huh? What is it about that designer that you like? What was it that really attracted you to that? I think someone had reposted. It was like a beautiful picture. And I think it was of Zendaya, the actress. And she had on like this really beautiful gold color gown. And it just like accentuated her body. I was like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> so she I got to looking. She yeah, I got some to... phenomenal clothes, that young lady. Like, wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, I... that is nowhere in my budget at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who is this? And I looked, I was like, hmm, Solomon. Okay, I've never heard of that. <laughs> Definitely not a Walmart item, that's for sure. <laughs> hey, no. we're putting it out there. They're going to reach out to you and that's say, right. we want you to wear this. At all. Could you imagine? Wouldn't that be exciting? Oh. I'm such a crybaby. I'll probably cry no. tears of joy. <laughs> no kidding. And then I might pass out. I don't know. <laughs> so have you grown up all this time in Tennessee? Yes. Yes. yes, yes. And uh, how, how have the, how has, you know, the people around you been in support now that are seeing that you're you're kind of coming out there. You're kind of the local little celebrity. Uh, is there been a lot of positive support from, from those around? It actually has. It actually has. As a matter of fact, it's crazy because every time me and my mom are out, like when everything first started, we always got stopped by somebody. Isn't that amazing? And they'd be like, are you that girl from? I'd be like, from where? And then they'll tell me, I'm like, yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I'm like, oh, me? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? Like, I know the first time I saw your story was on Snapchat. And um, I was just like, wow, like, what a beautiful, incredible lady. I don't, I don't know if you even know you were on Snapchat, but you were on Snapchat. And uh, as well, you know, and then I followed you on Instagram. And uh, just, you know, what I love is that it doesn't matter, you know, we, we, you know, everybody thinks there's a, such a thing as a normal and there is no such thing as normal. We're all unique and we're all different. And, right. you know, it's about embracing who you are as a person. And, and we, uh, we tend to shy away, like as human beings, because we're so um, inundated with, of course, social media, but just what, what society thinks standards should look like. And you just knock that out of the park you've shown you. people what a beautiful incredible sexy young lady you are being who you are and not shying away from it and that is true empowerment 
and you're 23 years young and you've already mastered that and i know there's hard days don't get me wrong there's always going to be hard days for all people even those who we think that have it all um but at 23 years young you've already started to do something that's incredible that a lot of people don't find within themselves until sometimes their 40s 50s or never and you've embraced and loved yourself and who you are and i think mahogany that is incredible and you are going to make a difference for so many others you yeah. already are you've already touched us three up in canada you're touching so many people you're not even aware of so keep up that phenomenal work that you are doing and just keep shining girl just keep shining Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I am, <laughs> Jesse, I am trying my best. I think sometimes the only thing will be like, I hope I am doing this the right way. I'm like, all I know what to do is to be me. So I'm sure your mom and sisters will be right there putting you back in your place if you were. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you are definitely right. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll be like, I hope I'm doing this the right way. Because sometimes I used to feel like I'm not as good as a speaker. I used to feel like I don't know how to communicate my words properly. So I'll be like, oh, gosh, when it comes to interviews, I'll be like, I hope I said the right thing. <laughs> oh, no worries. You did great on the show yeah, today. Yeah, you did awesome. Unfortunately, we're already at an end, but a few things I want to quickly ask is, number one, uh, what's a message you want to leave uh, for our viewers as they go forward? And number two is, how can people reach out to you and follow you on social media? Okay, um, my message. Okay, this is coming from the brain. Um, okay, so you only get... You know, you only get one you. Be the best version of you that you can be. Don't try to be anybody else but yourself. The world is going to talk about you regardless whether you're doing good or negative. Right. So just be you. <laughs> awesome. And uh, my social media. Okay, so I have Instagram and it is limp. Goddess, L-Y-M-P-H dot goddess, I was saying, I'm pretty sure it's 23, and that's my Instagram, and uh, TikTok is my name, Mahogany Jeter, and yeah, Facebook is also my name, I believe everything is pretty much my name, except for my Instagram. Perfect. So, yeah. Wow. Well, I'm sure you're going to get some more Canadian followers, that's for sure, besides the three. So, you know, again, mm -hmm. all the best to you, Mahogany. We wish you all the best. And uh, when the designer gives you that dress, you make sure and call us up because we're going to be interviewing. I will. I'll be like, you guys were right. <laughs> Y'all called it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a beautiful one. And thanks for being on Thank Chick you, Chick Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.